And a splendid morning to you. This is Newsline Live. We're broadcasting from the News First studios in Dorset Street in Colombo. And uh, just ahead of uh, uh, general election uh, in a few months' time, or we don't really know exactly when, but we may have some light thrown on that because we have with us live in the studio Mr. Chandima Virakhudi, the chairman of the Gaul District Development Council. Very good morning to you, Chandima. Good morning, Faraz. Um, what exactly does a District Development Council do? Well, uh, the mandate is to coordinate development work and other uh, activity that has uh, to be coordinated and expedited within mm -hmm. the district. Mm -hmm. um, is it uh, exciting stuff? Well, at the moment, uh, there is a lot of work that has been lagging behind or that has come to a standstill during the past few years. Because? We to, due to inaction in uh, competency mm. and uh, due to negligence and also mainly due to the fact that they never had a vision. They Who's were they? Makers, but Who's they? The former government mm. <clears throat> because most of the projects were uh, manipulated only for the benefit of, benefit of the few. They were no, they never looked at the, the larger picture. Which was? Like, for instance, Gaul, uh, construction of Gaul Courts Complex, mm. which commenced during the, the, the previous uh, SLP government in 19, in, 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 uh, from 2010 to 2015. President Rajapaksa. Under President Rajapaksa. But unfortunately, uh, the work was stopped and mm. um, more than half of it was built but uh, the previous government due to personal interest of a few were uh, discussing of shifting it to a location which is not suitable to locate a courthouse and neither the government previous government who, who did anything who was it? did anything to allocate funds as well. Mm. So as a result of that, the project came to a standstill. So we are, one of our first initiatives is to recommence work of that mm -hmm. project. How and long then, will it take? Well, now it's become a bit complicated, the money. We had to reevaluate the, the project. Mm. We had to get the funds, funds allocated once again. Mm. So it will... What happened no. to the funds that were allocated before? Or were they not allocated? <coughs> funds were allocated, but when work is not done, uh, funds would not have been uh, allocated in the, the commencing years. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, the work came to a standstill. Mm -hmm. So we have to now re-value the project, reallocate funds, mm. for which it will take uh, another six months because we will have to have the general election and then we will have to uh, have a budget. So it will definitely take another few years to allocate funds and complete work. And, well, and, and what kind of money are we talking about here? Yeah. Well, initially the, the estimate was thousand, uh, 120 million. 120 million. Million because this was this, this project was initiated with a vision. Mm. Presently, the Gaul Courthouse is located is located within the Gaul Fort, which is a prime tourist location 
in right. Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. When I requested the funds from uh, Dr. P. Vijay Sundar, the former secretary of yeah. finance, initially his opinion was that it is a huge amount of money to put up a, a courthouse. But my justification was the fact that the, once the courthouse is shifted from there, mm. the availability of land, mm. in even as of now, the highest land value in Sri Lanka is within Gulf Fort. Mm. That availability will lead to generation of foreign exchange mm -hmm. due to uh, tourist, uh, to, due to the, the fact that the, the buildings will be able to be used for tourism activity. Mm -hmm. So when he heard that, he unanimously agreed, at once he agreed mm. to... That was allocate, when he was Treasury Secretary. When he was tre Treasury Secretary. Mm. And we were able to start work. Mm. But unfortunately, the work uh, was stopped. Mm -hmm. And it is now once, like, it is as if the government is um, keeping about 500 million, 550 million or 60 million mm. in a bag and locking it up in a room without using it for any purpose. So you, what you're saying is that there was a lack of uh, transparency uh, and, and a lack and of commitment. Lack, commitment and lack of vision. I mean, right. Gaul is a, and Sri Lanka needs to develop tourism. In that, so in, this, this is in the same context then, uh, I noticed yesterday uh, on our news, yeah. we carried this story about a company from Singapore yeah. um, that uh, were, are going to be, it's been described by the Minister of Finance uh, in a press release that this is the first uh, foreign direct investment yeah, under President yeah. uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa, yeah. $250 million, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Now then, we've posed the question that the same project, the same company, um, was going to do this in the last government, the Sirisena Vikramasinghe government, under, I think the minister would have been Malik Samar Vikrama then. Yeah. Um, but we didn't see any tenders called for it this time, you know, yeah. under this government. So what do you think could be no, it's, I mean, the reason? It, as I understand it, some, I'm, I'm hearing it from media. Yeah. If, it's a, if it's a foreign investment, foreign direct investment, if yeah. it's an investor that is involved, yeah. you don't have to be calling for tenders. Yeah. Investor is, if the investor is willing to bring money in and invest in Sri Lanka, yeah. what, they, what the country should do, what the government should do, is to give necessary uh, approvals, whatever but, but approval what that about, is required. What, I mean, 40, I think 46 million dollars, yeah. uh, 43, 46 million dollars was accruing to the government, is potentially accruing to this government for the land. Yeah. What if there was somebody else? It could be Four Seasons, it could, I don't know. It could be any anyone. Yeah. You know. No, it's, it's, no. As a country, what, we do, what do we need at the moment? We need development. But we also so, need more, we need to maximise our no, dollars. No, we, we need to maximise, but at the same time, we are talking about a country that has never had investment. That, well, that's that, not true. We've had No, investment. like during last last few years, ah, yes. not, a, not a single investor was interested in investing in Sri Lanka. So what is most important at the moment is to build investor confidence. One of the main reasons, one of the key reasons for that was the delay in approvals. Mm. Issue of taxation. Mm. So now, people and and the issue of security towards yeah. the the the, uh, the latter part of the last government. Yeah. Now these issues have been resolved. People are confident. International community is confident. So now, for us to convince the other investors, yeah. we must tell them: Look here, this party, which uh, this had is, been interested in the Sri Lanka, this is the worrying part, uh, uh, Chandni That is that. You know, this was uh, given by uh, the Prime Minister because this bit came under him, under his ministry, uh, the several ministries, uh, portfolios that he's holding. Yeah. And when we see, we don't know, there was nothing available publicly for us to yeah. see. It's entirely possible that we've not seen it, but, you know, we, we tend to see these things. And we didn't see a tender process. No, you then, then, then we are looking at the past. Yeah. Because the future is generally shaped by the p 
past yeah. it sometimes anyway. And therefore, we were wondering, if there's been no tender, then is the same, are we returning to the days when Mahinda Rajapaksa was President Rajapaksa, and where he would say, well, look, give them this job, and then give them this job, but not this one, but that one. You know, no, no, it's, I'm talking about the process. No, no, yeah. process, to tell you frankly, what needs to be done in this country is that we have to see development. Yeah. We have to, development must be seen. But is it at Why the cost of being transparent? No, no it, it is not at the cost of being, I mean, it is, it will be definitely be transparent because yeah. these are not like fly-by-the-night investors who will come in. Now you people, well, you're talking about the uh, Volkswagen hoax, Volkswagen no, factory. Yeah, yeah, what, happened happened to the, what, happened to, what happened to what they were talking about last, during yeah. the last... But yeah. during our government, yeah. Shangri-La came. Yeah. Uh, we can see Shangri-La. Yeah. People may say, okay, this land would have, there would have been another, but, another, yeah. another hotel that would have come, four seasons would have come. All sorts of things can be said. But at the same time, Shangri-La, uh, being a reputed company, is now present in Sri Lanka. Yes, I so know. So likewise... Now, this, pro, this, 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 this particular company, company, this particular company nothing, I don't know what, what no, this company is. The, uh, well, this company is listed on the uh, Singaporean stock market. It was established in 2002. Um, yeah. It appears to have a great track record. Yeah. We are not casting any aspersion on this company. Yeah. What I'm asking you, yeah. uh, as your interviewer today, yeah. and as somebody, citizen Sri Lanka, yeah. I'm asking you, we have this new president who does a few simple things and gets the people behind him, which yeah. is great news. And then you have this other side, the flip side, where the prime minister, who is very experienced because he was the president for nearly 10 years, yeah. there's no tender. We must be transparent because we don't know, Chandima, whether... Four Seasons or some other international brand, whether they could have come in and up to the forty-six million no, dollars to ninety million no, or wait, eighty million. No, no, wait, wait. Now, to tell you frankly, let's be open about it. Yeah, we have to be realistic. Yeah, if there is any party that was interested in coming and investing in Sri Lanka, they would have already come. Now, during the, this is not something that came during our time. It this is come this when, when Parliament was, is pro role No, no, this this investor came in. This yeah. investor came in yeah. and. He was being delayed. Yeah. The, whatever the proposal yeah. was, not the company was not able to take it off the ground. And had there been any competitors, now it's open in public. Now it's open in public. The Sri Lanka has confirmed, or I mean, it's almost confirmed, but that has not been finalised in such way. And if there is a if there is a competitive party that is ready to come with a better uh, proposal. Certainly, as a country, we are willing to consider that as well. But in the, in the event that we have got only this, yeah. what are we to do? Are we to wait for another five years, expecting another party to come no. or to take it off the ground? No, 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 no. That's not what you do. You, you, you put out an internet, you, we spend so much yeah. of money. You know, you can understand where the public is standing on this. The public are thinking to themselves, many things have been done in the name of development. Please remember the Hambantota port. You know, in the name of development, because we couldn't afford it, Rani Vikramasinghe gave these chaps a 99-year lease for yeah. something like 5 million rupees a day. If you do the sums, you'll see I'm right. 5 million rupees a day times 99 years is what we got. Then he said, oh, we've paid the loan, we've settled the loan. But it hasn't no, been we, we can give you the guarantee yeah. that this government will not do things that are unpatriotic and detrimental to the future of this government. We but can, you can see. And, and look at, you look at the see, past, go, go by the past track record. Now, did any other company, did any other hotel chain came up and said, okay, Shangri-La got this or this amount. Had we been given... We would have got it for this amount. Now look at look at now go back the history when Jayajawardhana's time during Jayajawardhana's time, when he built the Hilton, when he built Actually, Ramada. With, with how all that respect, time 
that Not time the, 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 the hill top yeah. but top I must top. I must I want to put yeah. it right there yeah. uh, because I'm a bit passionate about the Hilton yeah the Hilton was we must give credit to the entrepreneurial spirit of one Cornel Pereira yeah because if it wasn't for his vision and he went lock stock and barrel to get that hotel up and up and running and to date there's still a dispute no, no, about no. the ownership. No, no, under whatever, yeah, no. Under whatever circumstances during that time, we didn't have proper hotels in Sri Lanka. Of course. But, so the government that time had to invite hot, hotel chains by giving them state land. Yeah. I mean... No, there's we, nothing wrong with that. That's, what, yeah, so what, likewise, what we're saying is likewise, that it was, this, it was the government of uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa yeah. who took over this, uh, the, the, you know, under this uh, appropriation bill. And now this, the, the, the Vikram Singh government cancelled that. And it's still in abeyance. We have people like um, uh, the, the sugar company people who purportedly may have got it back and so on, but the Hilton is languishing. But, you know, what I'm saying is no, no, this no, no, was no. all done in the name of development. No, so it is, That's what uh, I isn't mean. it development? It was, it was done during last go during UNP government. But at the cost Hilton. of the entrepreneur no, but, who hasn't got no, no, but, to pay but, for it. No, that is, a, that is a secondary matter. But the it's investment... Not, it what must is, be the primary no, no, what is, because, because what is the important? investors, investors will look at the Hilton and hold their head and say, no, I can tell you on the record yeah. that Prince Walid bin Talal one yeah. of the richest men in the world, yeah. when he was here soon after the tsunami, he made inquiries about the Hilton. Yeah. And when he heard about the legal battles that were going on and that he would never be able to change uh, to get rid of the Hilton uh, name that quickly and the contract that quickly, because he was a Four Seasons man, nobody, he, he ran a mile the other way because he yeah, no, wasn't interested. For us, the issue is, <coughs> that time, Due to various reasons, of course, probably President Jawadana would have mind would have been to convince an investor. The legality of the 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 process and the the fact that proper legal agreement has to be entered into has not been looked into. Yeah. So as a result of that, the investor and must be facing issues. Yeah. But as of now, I'm telling you very clearly, yeah. the the rule of law is very transparent and very advanced. Attorney General's Department, yeah. without without approval of the Attorney General's Department, no agreement can be entered into this in this country as of now. I want and to the stop you there, please. Yeah. Please, may I stop you there? Yeah. I want to ask you this question. You say guaranteed rule of law and so on. Yeah. Why pray then? The priorities seem to have been wrong. We have a hit and run case, and some statement made at some press conference taking, apparently, taking precedence over the central bank bond scam. This is when the central bank of our country was robbed by a bunch of so-and-sos, right? And surely, I'm just talking optics here. Yeah. In terms of optics, don't you think that a matter that was mentioned in the manifesto of President Nanda Senegotab here should have taken precedence? In terms of optics, no, no, if no. they did that, I wouldn't be talking like no, no, this. I, I, no, I'm tell you, I, I'm, I have to tell you frankly, you know, present government is not a government where the, the, the process of uh, the... Political revenge. No, we have not taken <laughs> political revenge. I'm talking and optics, no, that's no, what I'm saying. No, wait, it's optics. No, no, we, this is not a government where the operational law is taking place from the temple trees. Okay. The process Granted. is very transparently given to the police and the Attorney General's Department. Yeah. So whoever who had been at fault yeah. can, can has to be charged by them. Yeah. We are not in a... Pro in, as the government, we will not be in a position to tell the police and the Attorney General's Department... Can I ask you this? Look here, take this matter, give this matter priority over this, Okay, but can expedite. I ask you this? But at the same time, yeah. the, the bond scam yeah. is a number one priority. Yeah. We will see to it that the people behind that fraud yeah. are brought before, court. before courts. Right. And that process will not be delayed under any circumstances. That guarantee people expected from the government and we as representatives of the, of the government, yeah. we as elected members, are pushing for that 
expectation of the people to be fulfilled. fulfilled. Great. But I'm talking optics here. Yeah. What do I see? The optics I see is that you all have come in, there's a new government in, and I don't know, I was going to ask you that as my first question. Yeah. I don't know why um, Rani Vikramasinghe didn't, uh, you know, they went to court because people didn't have 113, yeah, under the 19th Amendment. Yeah. They went to the Supreme Court. And this yeah. time round, the people who went to court have suddenly given it all up. No, pe right? I mean, so, so in yeah. that context, I mean, yeah. that context, no, you we, to... see, we see, tell me this, in the matter of Patali Champik Ranawaka, he was, he had a travel ban placed on him. Tell me this, how come the initial police people investigating the initial case in 2016, when they believed that whole business, whatever, how come those policemen, how come we haven't read any story in the press, or radio, TV, to say that those policemen, those investigators, are being investigated for their role? Instead, they go and arrest no, no, the No, 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 I, I think you have not uh, been following. Oh, I have. The police Commission has called for a report yeah. of this incident. Yeah, but that's so, what I mean, isn't it? You go and arrest them. Just let's no, let's no. call in the beneficiary. No, the police, police department and police commission are two different organizations. Yes, yes, police know. commission, yeah. as an independent body, oversees the, the functioning of the police department. Yeah. So, police, as per the instructions given by the attorney general, police department has acted and they have filed, a, they have reopened a case. So, as to whether this was done correctly or not, yeah. is to be supervised by the police department, yeah. the conduct conduct of the police officers. Yeah. So that is being done. So, I mean, this is not the issue. Now, like you said, why didn't Ranil Vikramasinghe and the UNP challenge anything in courts? It, I mean, it is as, as well, they democratic... Did. They went, uh, to, they went no, to court no, they, about the 19th Amendment yeah. and the, the no, whole no, no. constitutional crisis. Crisis, you know? no. Now the issue is people, this is what... They uh, fought no, people, no, 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 they the, fought... No, they see, there is not, there is nothing because for, he didn't have a majority no, in parliament. No, there is nothing for them to fight. They have people have given them a clear message. If they are democratically elected people, if they believe in democracy, what they should do now is to support the government to give two thirds on the third itself and to dissolve parliament. Exactly. Because pe people have rejected UNP not once, twice. Mm -hmm. People want a new government. So it is who is now standing. The way, who are now blocking the expectation of the people? People need a steady government. They want a new government. Now this, this so government. So the people who went to court because my they, they, they know, didn't have 113 yeah. have today they are surviving handed, handed all everything back with a total disregard for uh, for the law. They went to uh, the Supreme Court for heaven's leave, sake. Leave aside the law as elected members, they have come completely and absolutely disregarded the minds and expectations of the public of this country. People want them to go, but, but they're but, hanging on, but, they're clinging on for two months. For what? To bring the country to its knees. Not its, its knees, they do to deserve it. I mean, this, this government. Now, the president is, has done quite a lot of things what the people expected. Mm. But... We can't, we are not in a position to get parliamentary approval for all that because of the composition in parliament. Hmm. We don't want, now, as of now... That was going to be my... Isn't it, isn't, isn't this absolute, almost literally a joke, kind of? It, it would be if it wasn't so serious. You know, the people who... I keep going on about this. Uh, it's a minority government. Yeah. Rani Vikramasinghe had a minority government. And he was able to garner the support where it was required by others, including the <laughs> TNA and so on. I'm so sorry that it's making you no, laugh no. and cough no. at the same time. No, it, but it, but why a, don't you have some jokes? No, no, tea? it is a matter, matter, matter for laugh because we have lived in this country. We have yeah. been through the, we have been through UNP government for almost five years, and we have seen. We have gone through a unity but government. This, so isn't we, this we have poor, gone through a unity. Isn't this poor for leadership? Us, for us, we have gone through a unity government also, but unfortunately, we were not able to expect, uh, re work 
deliver as to the expected of the people. Yeah. That was because of the, 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 the fact that there was the stable government. What people now want it became, is stability. It, that is why they voted for Gotabe Rajapaksha. They wanted a strong leader. They wanted a visionary. They wanted a person who can think out of, out of the box. They wanted a non-traditional leader. Yes, we so all that. that is now in place. Yeah. But unfortunately, a traditional parliament, yeah. traditional parliament where the leaders and most of the representatives in the parliament yeah. think in think in such way that the politics must get priority over development and the future of the country. Mm. So what is most important now is to have a parliament that comprises of members who have a vision, who, whose vision and whose topmost priority is the country, the development, integrity, security of the, the, the people. Those has to be the priorities of the members of parliament. So it is, now people are waiting to elect a new set of members as, who can drive this country mm. to the expectation of the people. All this time the criteria of elect, electing was, could be the, the guy who spends a lot of money, the guy who, who has, can use sagari, mm. uh, the guy who attends every funeral yeah. to be elected. Yeah. But now, people want members with upstairs, members who can under, understand, who are intelligent, who are ed educated, just not, the, not those who have just educational certificates, but who can deliver, mm. who can contribute effectively. Those who have delivered in their lives, who love this country, who are patriotic, who are willing to work with all communities together. Yeah. People who possess such qualities must be elected. The opportunity must be given for the general public of this country to elect such people in order to resolve most of these issues. Now mm. we see the, the difference between a non-traditional tech-savvy president and the rest of the leaders that we have had in coming, this country. I was waiting patiently, yeah. uh, lest I be accused of interrupting you. Uh, yeah. I was going to ask this question. Yes, you, yeah, you, you absolutely got it spot on. We have a president who is all what you said. Yeah. Agreed. And from his actions, these simple things, uh, maybe a jolly good indication of greater things to come. Absolutely. The question is, is the actions of the prime minister and within all those other ministries that he holds, is the actions of the prime minister consistent with the vision that President Gotabe has? Absolutely. President, I mean, Prime Minister. Are you, they together on this They one? are. I'm talking about this, this thing where there was no tender or there was no apparent tender. No, no. I don't, no you I, can't I, I'm not saying if there is anything wrong. No, I no. just want an explanation. No, no, no. This, this particular issue I'm telling you, if you, it is now open in public, open in the air. Mm. If there is any particular investor who's interested, I'm telling you, I'm willing, telling you with, responsibly, with responsibility, if there is any investor, who can come not a fly by night? Yeah. If it's a top investor of that caliber, who's willing to invest in Sri Lanka at a better at a better benefit to our country, certainly we will see to it that he is also considered. I'm telling you because this is a government of the people. This is a this is an era of the people. In this era, people will not bow down if there is any shady unlawful, illegal activity which is detrimental to the country. So if but I, if it is for the benefit of the country, yeah. no one can stop delay, development and initiation mm. of that project. Because we need this, what, what did people expect? A Vadakarana Ratak, yeah. a, a, a country that works. Yeah. This is now a country that works. It came into power just a month ago, uh, 250 investment has come to the country. During the past five years, did we get yes. any such investment that could 